this episode, we're going to look at creating a drag and drop list so when we drag an item and when we go to refresh the page, that item persists in the location that we dragged it. And so it doesn't matter if we drag from the bottom of the list or from the top to the bottom, when we refresh the page, those changes will persist. And to create this kind of functionality, we are going to reach for the gem axis list. And we're also going to be using the sortable JS library to handle the front end drag and dropping. And to tie it all together, we will use a stimulus JS controller. So when we drop the item, we're going to make a request back to our Rails application. And the library that we're going to use to make the request is a new library from Rails, and that's called the request.js. And did you know that you can go to railsstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? So be sure to check that out and use the promo code Ruby for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.